Photosynthesis is the most important energy conversion process on our planet. Plants and algae use sunlight, carbon dioxide and water to produce 118 billion tons of biomass per year. Photosynthesis is the most powerful invention of nature. Almost every organism relies on it and without it we wouldn't be able to eat, breathe and live. It is no surprising then that scientists have been investigating nature to understand the strategies it uses to convert solar energy. The key to photosynthesis lies deep in the cell membrane, at the nanometer scale, where we find the molecular machinery for light harvesting, where quantum mechanics rules. At University College London, we are fascinated by the microscopic principles of energy flow at this tiny scale. So we've been developing theories to explain how quantum phenomena provide unique strategies for energy conversion. In all photosynthetic organisms, Photosynthesis begins with tiny particles of light called photons colliding with specialized antenna. Here, several chlorophyll molecules cooperate to put in practice the quantum superposition principle. Energy is shared by all the chlorophylls at once. In this way, an antenna can absorb not only more photons, but different color photons and a single chlorophyll on its own. This new form of shared energy is called an exiton and is transferred within and between antenna to reach a reaction center. There it is converted into stable chemical energy to create biomass. In dim light, unlike this rare British summertime, this energy conversion process is extremely efficient. Almost every single photon absorbed contributes to chemical energy. We are trying to understand how, over millions of years, plants have evolved to make the most, to exploit a variety of different vibrational motions which help transfer the energy of an exiton. Our team is investigating the effects of both coherent and noisy vibrational motions in the energy flow. We and other scientists have found that nature's strategy is actually combining these two types of motion. Coherent vibrational motions keep chlorophyll synchronised as energy is redistributed around the antenna. But in contrast, noisy vibrational motions make energy transfer totally random. Neither of these two processes alone are ideal, so we need a combination of both of these for efficient energy transfer. At UCL, we have also shown that the unique quantum tricks nature puts on show rely precisely on this powerful combination. Through more than 3.5 billion years of evolution, plants, algae and some bacteria that do photosynthesis have learned to exploit quantum mechanical phenomena much better than us. Using genetic techniques, biologists can create new types of antenna to help unravel how nature might alter these quantum properties, taking a step closer to understand the quantum processes of life on Earth. Using modern techniques, molecular biologists can now specifically change the structure of light harvesting complexes and investigate systematically how those changes in structure affect the quantum behaviour. In light harvesting in photosynthesis, we wish to understand how quantum effects affect the efficiency of light harvesting in the natural system so we can capitalise on that knowledge to produce a blueprint for making much better solar cells. By investigating these quantum secrets of photosynthesis, we also hope to inspire the development of a new generation of sustainable solar energy technologies, lessening our reliance on fossil fuels. <laughs> <laughs>